So one of the best things to have Gemini on Gmail is that you can use it to summarize your email thread. You can also use it to suggest responses based on an email and also create a draft for your email. And there are many other things that you can do when you have Gemini, this AI from Google on your Gmail account. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable Gemini AI on Gmail. So it could help you with your email task much, much faster. But first, before you can enable that, you need to know if you are using the regular or the traditional Gmail account or if you're using a Gmail account that was provided by your employer. Now, if that was the case, then you might want to ask them to enable Gemini because they are in control. But if you're using just a regular Google account, then here's how you can do it. All right, first let's navigate to workspace.google.com. This is the URL, don't worry, I'm going to leave the link in the video description down below. And after that, you can read all the info about it and you can also just uh, click agree on the Workspace Labs terms and privacy and also I acknowledge that I'm 18 years old or older. This is optional. And after that, you can submit your response and you'll see this message, you'll see uh, something that look like this. In this case, I actually have joined or joined on the Google Workspace lab, so you will see this message. And after that, you can go to Gemini because there is one setting that we want to enable. So go to gemini.google.com. This is the URL. And after that, you want to navigate to the settings page. So there's this gear icon. You want to click it. Settings and help. Sorry about that. Uh, settings and help. Why it doesn't open? Okay, there's something wrong here with the page. Let me refresh. Yeah, sorry about that. I have very slow internet connection lately. All right, now click settings and help and click apps. And here you want to enable Google Workspace. So this will make sure that we have access to Gemini on various Google apps, it's including Gmail. And I think that's the one that we are going to be using. So here, after you have enabled Google Workspace connection with Gemini, you can actually navigate to your Gmail account, gmail.com. And you'll see a Gemini icon on the top right corner of the screen. You can click it here. It's actually next to the gear icon. And now you can use Gemini on your Google account. Now, for example, I can use Gemini to find email from a specific sender. From, let's say, Recraft hit enter and it will do the searching for me it will actually search based on the query that i was asking for another thing that, that i can do is that i can ask gemini to summarize an email for example here there's this email from the rundown newsletter which i use it a lot to keep up with ai news and i can ask something like what or maybe what is the summary uh, by the way you can also just clear the history and you can click out uh, one of the buttons available on the suggestions so it's going to it's actually able to understand the context of the email and it will suggest you some action that you can do on gemini and in this case i have the option to summarize the email and this is the answer so yeah it's very useful and of course you can also use gemini on other google apps like google drive and google docs and many others so that's how you can enable Gemini directly on your Gmail account. So if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.